Hello. In this session, we are going to understand the two systems of judgment and choice. This is going to help you in the cognitive computing and this is a very interesting session. Yes, we are going to learn a lot of new stuff. What is the most complicated or which is the most complicated stuff that you are aware of? You can say Lamborghini engine, rocket science, the rocket complicated stuff altogether, uh, anything? No. The human thoughts and the actions are the most complicated stuff. We cannot ever predict it because they are governed by multiple things altogether which include emotions, instincts, habits, assumptions and all these govern it together. So this is most complicated. Now coming back to cognition, cognition is a foundational approach that not only gets connected to how we think but also it is connected to how we act and how we make decisions. This is very very important. I will ask you a simple question. You are going to a doctor with a symptom for a particular disease. Doctor 1 will probably give you a medicine which is different from doctor 2 who is recommending a different medicine. Why is that a completely different approach followed by two different doctors for the same disease? Why do two people raised in the same household with the similar experience grow up to have diametrically opposite views of the world? For example, a sister and a brother who are growing in the same house with same setup are having totally different thought processes. Why do different batsmen handle similar bowling in an entirely different way though they are trained by the same coach under the same infrastructure? What explains how we come to conclusions and what does uh, this tell us about cognition and cognitive computing is to be analyzed. One problem, two people are handling it in a different way altogether though they are from the same environment though they are growing up in the same infrastructure. So that's very important. We need to understand how do we come to conclusions. So this is to be clearly clarified in this session and we will do that. Dr. Daniel is an Israeli-American psychologist and he is a very reputed Nobel Memorial Prize winner in the economic sciences. He is very well known for his research and writing in the field of psychology, of judgment and decision making. He has written a lot of articles and books and they are all really great books and articles that we can read and understand a lot of things. One of the greatest of his books is Thinking Fast and Slow. Uh, as I already told you, he is a Nobel Prize winner and one of his greatest contributions is this book. He divides his approach into two different things, System 1 and System 2. I mean, he divides his approach to judgment and reasoning in two different forms. System 1 is basically intuitive thinking and system 2 is basically controlled and rule centric thinking. Intuitive thinking and controlled and rule centric thinking both are different dimensions system 1 and system 2. We are going to analyze and understand how system 1 is going to work, how system 2 is going to work which is better. System 1 automatic thinking, intuition and biases we are going to analyze this. This is the first one. System 1 is all connected to what happens automatically in our brains. I repeat, it is all connected to what happens automatically in our brains. What does the brain use? The brain use intuitions to draw any conclusions. Our brain is driven completely by intuitions. The thinking begins from the minute we are born. Yes, we are born and the next second the thinking process starts. The very instance of the birth we start thinking. We learn to see objects, we learn to see people, we can understand fragrance of our mother. We can understand the fragrance of our dad. We can understand the voice of our mother, dad and other close people. Child also learns that if mom shouts louder, there is a danger connected to it. Remember, the child, if in case has a cruel mother, will not have the same association with the mother's voice as the child with the kind mother. This is a very important point that we all need to note. Of course, there are other issues that play a vital role. But even the child at that level can understand the difference. An average child who associates a loud noise with fun may not feel in danger as well. So the thinking ability, the process, the thought process, all these things start at very early age. We need to understand that. As people learn over time, they begin to assimilate automatic thinking into their way of operating in the world. A guy who is very passionate about chess becomes a master automatically and learns to make the right moves. The chess master not only knows what his next move should be but also he should anticipate what the opponent's move could be. 
the chess master can play an entire game in his mind without even touching the chess board this is very very important likewise emotions and attitudes about the world are automatic as well we have a strong connect if a person is raised in a very dangerous area of a city he will have automatic attitudes about those people around him those attitudes are not something that he even thinks about and cannot be easily controlled these attitudes are simply part of who he is and how he has assimilated his environment and experiences so remember we are having lot of things going in in our brain the benefit of the system one thinking is really very good to understand we can take data from the world around us and discover the connections between events it is easy to see that the system one is important to cognitive computing because it allows us as humans to use sparse information we collect about events and observations and come to conclusions and come to rapid conclusions indeed system one can generate predictions by matching these observations but this intuitive thinking can also be inaccurate and they are also prone to errors if not checked and monitored properly these results could be wrong and there is where we need to migrate to system 2 The system too is all about controlled, rule-centric, and concentrated effort. It is different from system one. System one is all about the intuition. System two is all about the reasoning. The reasoning behind what is it, why is it, how is it. That's going to govern it. System two thinking observes and tests assumptions and observations instead of jumping to a quick conclusion. No assumptions here, right? system 2 thinking observes and tests assumptions and observations instead of jumping to a conclusion based on what is assumed it's not a quick conclusion that we look into system 2 thinking uses simulation to take an assumption and look at the implications of that assumption this type of system requires that we collect a lot of data build models that test system one's intuition this is especially very very important because system one thinking is typically based on a narrow view it's a silo we do not have a clear cut perspective but still we come into a conclusion that's not right so although an idea may appear to be good and laudable as well when viewed from a narrow perspective but when you really look into a broader perspective the ideas could even change the conclusion will change drug trials are the best example a potential cancer treatment could seem very promising all the preliminary results show that it eradicates cancer cells but it could give a lot of side effects and the treatment could be toxic so system one thinking would assume that cancer cells are destroyed and this is the best one go ahead put it in the market this often includes bias although it may appear like it makes sense it is not sensible the definition is going to be very clear here system 2 will slow down it will evaluate it will look into at the full context and then collects more data then comes up with a solution system 2 is anchored in data and models it takes into account those biases and provides better outcome most importantly it's not a quick fast conclusion that could be erroneous that's the difference predicting outcomes is a complex business issue because so many factors can change the outcomes this is why it is important to combine intuitive thinking with computational model this is the final observation that we need to have we need to combine intuitive thinking with computational model and that's going to be really helpful system 1 is fast system 2 is slow so we have understood the advantages the disadvantages of both of this i hope you have understood that let's get into the next topic in the next session and i hope you like the session thank you